Hi there, it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I am here with my first video for the Twin Sheet Thursday, um, which is an open collaboration and it's hosted by the lovely Janet Kay. I'll link her channel below. I believe it is Crafts and Tea with Janet Kay. And the idea is that you share twinchies on a Thursday. So I will show you the inspiration for these twinchies that I'm just about to make is this little bag of googly eyes which was on my desk. I'm too embarrassed to show you the state of my desk. But let me tell you, things I use don't get instantly put away. And these I used hmm, probably a couple of weeks ago at least. <laughs> anyway, they were still sat there and I thought, oh, maybe I could make little monster googly eyed twinchies so um i have been kind of well i'll show you again i've got several of these folders full of papers and bits so that's like some sprayed some texture paste through a stencil with uh brushes some marbling on um, shaving foam, some alcohol ink, so you pull, you get the idea. I always end up making way more than I need and I, I keep it and then I have this massive stash of it. So admittedly, inches and twinches are not exactly going to go through it fast, but I'm wanting to use it up. So I pulled out and I've already cut these into twinchies but this was in that folder and it is some napkin it's like a Halloween uh, napkin of like text with a sort of skull mm, yeah so I tried to kind of leave as much of the skull this has got a bit of skull on it but I'll probably cover it up but I liked the text so it's just been um, I think mudge podged onto some Thick white heart, thick white card. Oh, can't speak. Um, and I believe that I had cut out a piece of it for an ETC. I think at least, at least two or three years ago, maybe even longer. And then I just kept the rest of it. So I have cut these bits out, and I've got another couple of little scraps, and the rest has gone. It was just a little napkin. Um you know the little sort of 10 centimeters when it's folded up or whatever so my plan is that I've also used some of those papers out there so these are this was um cheap photo paper with um pixie powders this was pixie powders just on some card and I have another one drawn out and ready to cut on this um which was marbled um shaving foam and I think I did it with nail varnish um it was very smelly and I have never done it again since but I did get some quite nice prints so I've just drawn this um hopefully kind of monster stroke alien I don't know it's a something um and I'm obviously gonna give them some googly eyes so yeah so this is a great idea um to get some twinchies Made. I'm not sure that I'll be able to join in with it every single week. There's so many lovely challenges. Um, so, so my idea was to kind of pop these on a corner, stick some googly eyes on and then do a bit of
bit of decorating round there. I've also pulled out, I've got a couple of monster sort of stamp sets. This one is Creative Stamps. Um, and I just wondered maybe about the Boo or Eek or something. And this one, I ordered it on um, eBay. And this is kind of how it came. So there's most of the bigger stamp. Yeah, there were stamps missing basically. So there's a few of these, but um, it's got a monster hugs as well. So yes, yeah, so I think I will ink round the edge and then think about what I want to fit on around that corner. Here's my little inky thing. other great thing about this collab is if you are looking for a bit of inspiration then there's a great hashtag to go through the videos and see what people are making for twinchies I've resisted an urge I didn't have uh, to do any kind of jubilee crafting. Um, it's the the jubilee in the UK for the Queen this weekend. 70 years of being the Queen. And uh, I'm not really, I am not really a royalist. Um, and especially... At the current time, where there's so many people struggling to put food on the table, etc., it feels a bit obscene to spend, I believe it's something like a billion pounds on Jubilee celebrations. Oh, I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there will be many events going on. Not so many in Scotland, I have to say. I think Scotland's a bit over the royal family um, in general terms. Although, my mum is her street. It's a cul-de-sac and they have a... Before Covid, they always had a street party for um, New Year, Hogmanay as we call it. And in the summer, so they would have a barbecue and folk would take their folding chairs along and catch up on all the the news etc so they are doing it this weekend so I dare say there'll be some royal regalia um, but yeah it's quite funny just um, we were out of the weekend <clears throat> out for a wander along in a different town in East Lothian and um, it's like the shops, a lot of the shops that are kind of national, you know, chain stores have got their um, their Union Jacks and the window and everything. And um, we popped in for an ice cream and uh, the man in the ice cream shop had his, uh, he had like an EU t-shirt with the saltire flag on it so my husband says oh I like your jubilee celebration t-shirt and he had a hearty chuckle <laughs> um, now I'm not sure I think I probably don't have room for monster hugs but I probably have room for a little boo which would fit in quite nicely because he's kind of kicking out the corner um, so yeah, I wonder if it's going to stamp nicely enough on the um, napkin. Probably. Let's. Let me just try a little. 
yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> I like it. There we go. So we've got boo. And then I just need to stick some Right, I'm just using the tonic glue. I have used it before for these and it seems to work pretty well. So, I think these googly eyes might have come in a swap from the lovely Kim Kelly. There we go, there's two of them. I need another. I think if I had a bigger, um, if I had any bigger googly eyes, I might do one with just one in the, in the centre of its head, but I think these ones are better. They're not quite big enough for that. Um... So yeah, so quite simple, using up some of my um, stash. So I didn't actually use any uh, cardboard or papers that I hadn't started before. And there we go, are they in the centre? Yeah, so I hope that you like my little um, monstrous twinches and I look forward to hopping around the hashtag and seeing what everybody else has been making. Thanks for watching, see you soon, bye!